Good Samaritans like Dixon and Lubus and others did what they thought was right to help a stranded driver. But as you can see, helping on a busy highway sometimes can be extremely dangerous. Fox Toledo's Jennifer Steck asked the Highway Patrol what they recommend to do in a situation like this. She is live now with their answer. Well, for many, lending a helping hand comes as a natural instinct. But troopers say there are times when you must err on the side of caution. The least thing you can do is just call 911. You know, let them know what you've seen, provide your information. Mommy, 911. Yeah, I'm calling to report an auto accident, 23 northbound, uh, at, uh, just north of Southbury Road. Just north of Southbury? Yeah, it's apparently it just happened. There's vehicles all over the place. Between Dusso and Airport? Yeah, and now another semi just hit. The one that was parked on the side of the road, man, he so just hit them all. Semis? Yeah. Within minutes, the Maumee Police Department received multiple phone calls from witnesses to the accidents that took the lives of three people, among them good Samaritans just trying to help. Lieutenant John Altman of the Ohio Highway Patrol says if you do decide to step out of your vehicle and help, find ways to protect yourself first. Make sure you're behind a guardrail and off the roadway. But he can't stress enough, if you're just not sure, use your common sense and dial 911. If you witness something and you're, you're concerned about going back to the scene, which many people are for, for just reason, um, you know, pull off, pull up, just kind of stay somewhere with your four ways on until law enforcement or public safety arrive. We, we want to keep people safe, and I don't think anybody is going to second guess somebody for not deciding to stop and help somebody if they can't do it safely. Well, Lieutenant Altman, Altman also wanted to stress to drivers going through an accident zone to be aware of your surroundings and slow down to ensure everyone's safety. Reporting tonight, Jennifer Steck, Fox Toledo News. Thank you, Jennifer. The investigation into this awful accident is ongoing. Now, as we get more information, we will bring it to you on Fox Toledo News, or you can get the information anytime at foxtoledo.com.